Welcome to episode one of Painting Along with Jen. I'm Jen, and together we'll create a painting in an afternoon. What we're painting is a mystery each time, but we'll complete it together step by step. We only have two rules at this program. Always cover your workspace, and remember, there are no mistakes in art. Let me show you some materials you're going to need. Paint in the colors white, red, yellow, blue, and black. Paint brushes. I have two here, but you can use whatever you have at home. I have a wide flat brush and a smaller detail brush. A black permanent marker. A pencil. I have a jar here with some water in it, but you can use a glass too. A paper towel. And before we even get started, make sure you cover your entire workspace in newspaper. First, draw a line in pencil across your canvas. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. We're going to paint the top part blue and the bottom part green. Remember to make green by mixing yellow and blue. Using your smaller brush, we're going to take white paint and dab it across the blue. Make sure that you're only picking up the smallest amount of paint right on the tip of your brush. We're making clouds. While the clouds are drying, we're going to take your detail brush again and wet it, and then using your fingers, twirl the tip to make a point. Using that pointed brush, we're going to take the smallest dab of black paint right on the tip and draw three lines. One line coming up, and two lines branching off. Still using our black paint, we're going to begin to dab like we did for the clouds, but this time we're going straight across the lines we just drew. This is going to make a tree. Twirl your brush into a point again, and now using yellow and dark green paint, we're going to draw spiky lines on the green on our canvas to make blades of grass. You can also dab the color on to make wider patches of grass.
next color we're going to be using is a pale yellow. To make this color, you're going to take a lot of white, some yellow, and a drop of red. The smaller the drop, the better. Now that we have that color mixed, on the left side of our canvas, we're going to make a large teardrop shape and fill it in. Still using our pale yellow color, we're going to draw a thick line from the top of our teardrop to the top of the canvas.
paint four thin lines from the bottom of your teardrop towards the bottom of your canvas, but don't go off the edge. While we wait for this to dry, we're going to start working on the top part of our canvas. In order to do this, we gotta flip it around. Very carefully flip it around. Still working with our pale yellow color, we're going to paint a thick line from the bottom of our canvas up. Make sure it is the same thickness as the one we drew previously. We're going to paint an upside down teardrop connected to our thick yellow line. It'll kind of look like a balloon. Paint two rounded triangles to the side of our balloon. These are ears. Let's finish our body outline. Carefully flip your canvas right side up. 
Paint a thin line coming out and flipping up. This is our last step with the pale yellow color. Wait for everything to dry. While you're waiting, it might be a good idea to clean your brushes. Now that everything's dry, we're going to paint each one of the feet and a circle at the bottom of our balloon shape gray. Remember, to make gray, we're going to blend black with a little bit of white. Next, we will be using brown paint. To make brown, mix a little bit of yellow into a lot of red. That makes orange. Then I'm going to mix in a few drops of black just to darken it to the depth of brown that I want. Now that we've got our brown paint mixed, we're going to start by drawing two small horns coming up from the middle of his forehead. I'm also going to give him a few polka dots on his forehead to make him cute. Start bringing the brown splotches down the little bit of neck that we have up here. Flip it around 
And now we're going to cover his entire body in the brown splotches. forget the tufty on the end of the tail. Wait for everything to dry completely. Once everything's dry, use your black marker to give him a cute face. 